That's it. That's the end of the wood floor. Now, steel and concrete. All right, so we've got the three pieces of channel iron, 20 feet long each, bolted to the building. The next order of business is to wrap the steel cable around the channel iron on the inside, loop it around that channel, and pull the building inward with some six-ton come-alongs. That's the next challenge. So January 8, 2022, we've got a jack under every post on that whole row, on this whole row. We get our first sheets of steel decking on, mostly just so we can walk without falling down through the steel beams. And the next order of business is to hook up our come along and pull that south wall inward. And we're gonna be doing that in the next week. And then this side of the building needs to come up between four and six inches. So the whole building's gonna go up. <laughs> All right, so I've got this chain binder in place, pulling the south wall in. I've actually got three. And what we found was this bay, the post and beam, has a, po has a vertical, a horizontal beam up there. We had to put this kicker in so that when we pull in that outside post, it pushes this post with it because when you come over here that post has a horizontal beam and so doesn't that one so when these are pulling it's pushing this post like we want because there's my string showing how much further we got to go and that string runs to the end of the building and we're two inches off the end post so that string should be two inches off these posts when we're done moving. Friday, February 4, 2022, we are raising the north wall. What do we got, six jacks on that wall? We just shot it with the transit in the top plate. We gotta go up anywhere from two to six inches depending on where the post is. So we won't get this all in one day, but we'll get it started. We're still pulling the barn in for these chain binders. And we've got uh, on this string, which is how we're determining when we're straight, that string runs the length of the building and when it measures the same on all posts, theoretically the building is straight. So it's still uh, probably like two and a half inches to go in the middle. We started, we had a six and a half inch difference. Okay, today is Saturday, February 5th, 2022. Outside temperature, damn close to zero. Pretty heavy winds. I'm up in the upper loft. This is the third story of the building. And this morning, we have cranked on all the jacks on all these posts. So there's 28 posts that hold this barn up. Seven on the outside wall, 14 in the middle, and seven on the other outside wall. And we've leveled these up within an inch of being level in 60 feet by 40 feet. And these are hand hewn timbers. So, we're still working on pulling this wall in. I can do this without falling down. Just so you can see, I'm about 35 feet up off the basement floor, so it's a little scary. If I fall, it wouldn't be good. This is our string in the loft, and that string runs the length of the building. And in the middle, it's still bowing to the south about four inches up here. So these posts are about 32 feet long. There's not a lot that holds this building together from side to side. That lumber in the middle, that's my temporary scaffolding for the cupola. 
So this is what it looks like up here. All right, so <clears throat> now that we're done screwing around with all our jacks, we're gonna pull up the remaining wood, sec wood flooring and then it'll look like that and we can put our metal decking on. Starting to look a little scary down here without any flooring. That's a long ways up. So we got four sections to go. We're going to save that for next Saturday. Because I've had enough and so have the guys. It's five o'clock somewhere. So when Ben screws that 20 ton screw jack up and we lift that post, what we've learned is the tension on this chain binder on that south wall, when he goes up, that post comes in. And then we go up slightly on this post and it pushes that post in. So it's kind of like a seesaw effect. Tension on the cable and then lifting on the jack and the posts come right in. So every time we do that, that string is getting closer. That piece of Romex. It's just a dead wire. At least I hope it's dead. I ain't gonna check it. So we're getting closer every day on that string. All right, it is four o'clock on Sunday. Uh, sorry, Saturday, February 5th. And we have cleared the floor joists, the wooden floor joists in two bays. Complete removal, one board at a time, one beam at a time. Now I'm looking up about 24, and yeah, it's probably closer to 30 feet to the top loft. That's all gonna come out down through the middle. Then we gotta put all this steel decking in. Then we need a couple of days with a welder to put miniature steel post under each wood post. Once those are in place, weld it to the beam, steel decking gets cut around them, steel decking gets welded down to the steel beam. Then we have a stud welder come in and weld studs to the top of those beams. Then we do our rebar grid. Then we do our six by six concrete wire, followed by thousands of feet of PEX tubing. This is all the salvage wood deck. Those are about 16 foot long. Most of them are 12 inches wide, two inches thick, and probably 160, 70 years old. 